Hi, Dr. Windish from Sparks Pediatric and Adolescent Medicine again. Welcome to our video series for parents. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to delve into somewhat the realm of politics without trying to be too political, at least that's certainly my hope here. And I know people have real strong feelings about this one way or another. My goal is not to convince you how to approach things, but to understand the reality of the situation and then decide for yourself what you want to do about it. The question was posed to me by a friend of mine who's another physician in, in outside of the field of pediatrics. With everything that's happened in Connecticut with the shooting at Sandy Hook Elementary and again in Aurora, Colorado and push for newer, stricter gun control laws, where do I stand on uh, the Accountable or Affordable Care Act, known as affectionately as Obamacare, and and its emphasis on gun control. And my first comment to him was, Dr. X, the ACA doesn't make any commentary on gun control, and it doesn't actually specify anything the physicians need to do as far as gun control. Apparently, there are some rumors floating around in. Um, gun enthusiast groups that the ACA will require physicians to ask about gun usage in the house and then enter that in a national database and in so doing institute a de facto registration of handguns and weapons. Now your individual state may require you to uh, register your weapons. Um, there may be additional laws that are passed requiring registration of what weapons. I'm not going to weigh in on whether that's a good thing, bad thing, worthwhile, worthless. I leave that to other people. But what I want to tell you here is the medical end. So uh, there have actually been laws passed in a few states that forbid physicians from asking if there's firearms in the home. Those laws have been found to be unconstitutional and or overturned uh, with additional legislation in those states. So physicians are allowed to ask. We ask because we want to keep our patients safe, and if there are weapons in the home, we want to uh, educate people about weapon safety and how to secure the weapons and making sure they're not kept loaded on the, the nightstand with small children running around. We, many physicians do record that information in the medical record, but that record's not released to the government. That is not part of a central database. That record typically isn't even released to the insurance company. So it, it doesn't really have to be in there. Now I know a number of people are gonna say, well, I don't even want it in my medical record. Well, that's between you and your doctor. You guys need to work that one out. How I handle this situation personally is I just don't ask. And you say, oh, you just stick your head in the sand, doctor. Not exactly. I just assume everybody has weapons in the house. And counsel accordingly as to firearm safety because quite honestly even if you don't have weapons in your house your son or daughter may be visiting a friend or relative tomorrow who does and you don't even necessarily know that that friend or relative has firearms in the house and you may not find out even after the visit your children will find out when their cousins take them into my uh, aunt and uncle's room to play and show them something really cool. So teaching kids basic firearm safety, don't touch them, assume they're loaded, assume they're capable of shooting you, don't play with weapons, and then a myriad of other things that we're not going to get into because they're outside of this discussion, is the kind of thing that we need to educate patients on, and I think every kid needs to be educated on that, whether there are weapons in the household or not. And since I'm assuming everybody has weapons, I don't bother to ask, and I don't bother to put it in the chart, because if everybody's got it, it's not worth charting. So that's how I handle it. Now everybody handles it differently, but what I really want you to understand here is, A, there is a way it can be handled without being judgmental, and I'm not going to tell you whether I own weapons 
or not, whether I've ever fired a handgun or rifle or not, whether I'm any good at it or not, because it's neither here nor there. There are ways to handle it that's non-judgmental. More importantly, regardless of how the physician or medical provider chooses to handle it, whether they ask direct questions or they just assume that there are weapons in the household, the reality is there is no central database. The Affordable Care Act does not require reporting of this kind of data metric to the federal government in any way, shape, or form. And so that's the way things stand. Could that change? Well, yeah, I mean, any kind of a number of laws could be passed. They'd have to be upheld by the courts. And uh, there is no movement afoot to implement such a law. But, yeah, I mean, anything could happen. Would that be a good thing or a bad thing? Well, I leave that up to individuals to discuss and to debate and to lobby their legislators the way they feel appropriate. I'm, again, I'm not getting into the gun control debate here. This isn't about gun control. It's about weapon safety and its impact in primary care pediatrics. So, you know, kind of a take-home message is when your doctor asks, we are instructed by insurance companies in the American Academy of Pediatrics and various institutions that set guidelines for pediatric care, we're instructed to discuss weapon safety. So when your doctor asks, they're not necessarily judging you, they're just doing what we've been told we need to do, which is to discuss this. There are multiple ways to ask and multiple ways to, to discuss it. Um, and here in Nevada, where I live and work, many people have firearms of various types. And it just, it, it is what it is. I don't have to like it. I don't have to dislike it. I don't have to weigh in on it one way or another. I decide for my own family how we're going to handle that situation. And every parent will decide for themselves how they're going to handle that situation, whether we like it or not. And, but, but we're not judging. But more importantly, we're not submitting this data to a federal database that's then tracking usage of firearms throughout the country. There is no such database, and nobody's looking. So this is Dr. Kevin Windish from Sparks Pediatric and Adolescent Medicine. I hope this has been enlightening and alleviate some of the fear about the Affordable Care Act. We'll see you next time.